Now, underneath this is another gadget that many of you have probably seen. There are five stainless steel balls hanging from strings. And I can give one of these balls energy, potential energy, by simply raising it up above its equilibrium position down here. Then when I release it, that potential energy is converted into kinetic energy, the energy of motion. And you know what will happen when it hits the balls. A ball on the other end goes shooting out. And the fact that one ball comes in and one ball goes out is an example of the conservation of energy. Um, the energy of the ball going in has to be transferred to the energy of the ball coming out. Now, what if we start with two balls like this? What will happen? That's right. Two balls go in, two balls go out. And that's necessary in order for energy to be conserved. Now, a little bit more complicated, what if I do it with three balls? Three balls in, three balls out. So energy is conserved in this demonstration, except that you know the balls eventually will stop swinging, and that's because some of the energy of motion is being transformed into other forms. Because of the friction of the balls swinging through the air, some of the energy of motion is transferred to heat. The air actually gets a little bit hotter as the pendulum stops swinging. Not only is heat being generated, but another form of energy. What is it? Sound, exactly so. Every time the balls collide, you hear the click. The click is sound energy, and that energy came from somewhere, and the only place it could have come from is from the swinging motion of the balls themselves.